Good day, everyone, especially to our new students who would like to enroll in the University of Cebu. Today, I'll be making a walkthrough tutorial on how to enroll online. First, you need to log in on the university's website, enrollment.uc.edu.ph. Once you have done that, this page will appear and you need to click one of these school level. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the College of Engineering on how to enroll for the College of Engineering. So, I'll be clicking College. If you are a new student, you need to click first Apply. Click Apply, then put in or type in your credentials. Your last name, first name, middle name, and your birth date. After that, click Continue. Then you will be provided with login details, your username and password. After that, continue with application form. In my case, since I have already done that, I cannot do it twice. So I need to go back to the login page and use my login credentials. Here are my application information. So, here, every time you log in, program, you need to select this one. What program you like to enroll? In this example, we will be choosing Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. From here, next is your year level since we will be having a tutorial for the incoming first year so this should be year level one once you have selected your program and I year level proceed to step two in this step you need to select your section select a section click this one then choose a section here you have two choices pure online and blended pure online class is you don't need to come to the campus all learning will be done at home or online blended you need to come at least once a week to the school campus for the lecture and some modules now, since this is an engineering program, we categorize our student to be STEM or non-STEM. Okay. Behind this section, there's a category of STEM and non-STEM. So for the details of these sections, please go to our Facebook page, College of Engineering 2020. From there, there's a posting about the class sections. Find the sections you want to choose and look for STEM or non-STEM. For example, here the BSEE 1, 2 is a pure online non-STEM section. The BSEE 1, 1 is a pure online STEM section. Let's just say I am a non-STEM student, so I need to click BSEE B -S -E -E 1, 2. Once you have selected your section, click search by section. Then your class schedule will be displayed. All available class schedule for this particular section. Now, for example, BES 101, one unit. Subject description is engineering drawing. And this is your class time. Then room. 
in a pure online schedule, there's no room number assigned. Here is TBA. It means to be announced. To be announced means you will get the room information by email. The teacher assigned for this particular subject will email you with the Google Classroom code or a Google Classroom invitation for you to log in. Make sure your email account that you provided in your application form or your application information is correct and active. If not, you may not receive the Google Classroom invitation and or Google Classroom code. So make sure your email address is active and correct. Now, let's proceed with the enrollment process. Next step, once you have selected your schedule, click Add All Schedules from this block. Since this schedule for freshmen is restricted to select one by one, you are only allowed to select the entire class section. You have nothing else to do but click Add. Then Accept. Then click OK and understand with this statement here. Once done, scroll down below. Here you will find your selected class schedule with a total of 26 units. Now, if you don't like to scroll down like this or view your schedule like this, there's an option below, maximize list. Once you click this one, the entire list will be displayed at once. Yeah. So you can see everything, your entire selected schedules. But in this case, this is a block section. You cannot remove any of this subject because if, re if you remove one of this subject, it will be removed all. After that, once you are satisfied with your selected subjects, click Submit. Then, another reminders here. If you have read, then click Accept. Then proceed to Submission. Now, we are enrolled. Now, I have here, my outstanding balance is zero. So, since the UC or the University's student accounting have not yet computed your Vision fees and other miscellaneous fees, so it's still zero. This will be updated soon, so you don't have to worry. If you have paid a partial payment or any payment you made for this particular enrollment, you can upload your proof of payments here. You can pay. in our designated uh, payment centers posted in our Facebook page. Once done, here we just wait for the approval because step one status submitted and updated. Here step two status pending approval. Your enrollment must sub is submitted to our chairman or our team. From there, you will, they will check your enrollment for approval. And you'll wait for the notification. So since this is not yet approved, so what you have to do is just log out and check it for another day or you will be notified. 
All right. I hope it will make your enrollment process easier with this video tutorial. Keep safe and stay at home. Good day, everyone.